Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Endless Legends. So, we did finish this, um, this other ranger here. And I'm thinking we're going to want to retrofit her. And the cost is what? 20, 22 dust and then 2 of that other resource, that's fine. We'll upgrade you to a fancy pants ranger. And then we will take you with your movement and have you head down. Um, create a new army. And then we'll have you try to meet meet up with this ranger, which is probably going to move in this direction. So we'll have you come this way. You're going to merge in with this army, which can have up to four units in it. And we want to just make this army a little bit stronger, since it has our hero. And we'll go from there. I think the next thing we'll have our hero do after we find our faction is, is either instigate a relationship with the faction, or we'll take that mission, that quest, to go kill whichever city it was. There was a city that they wanted us to kill in the Hel Helkin region. It would make them happy. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Two, three turns, we'll have a settler. We have another mission we can accomplish. Quest, rather. Uh, click to select the next unit without armed orders. Right. Why do I have to click? I want to press a button. Nothing to explore here, right? Okay. A wine deposit. Wow. And a glass steel deposit. So we've got our bonus vision range already, I think. Or was that next turn? We should see... Hmm, the influence costs your empire with the current settings. I wonder, that's... Okay, yeah, okay, every turn we have that active, apparently, that's going to cost us 20 points, 20 influence. But where can we see it as a modifier? Hmm. I suppose we could see it if we actually, like, click on the unit. They normally have three vision? I forget. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just trust in it. It feels like we can see quite far. There they are. We found them. And you, sir? One of the armies roaming in Agai has the treasure that you seek, 15 emeralds. Find the army, defeat it, and make the booty yours. Okay. Which region? I don't even see that region. This must be this region that it that we're moving into. This must be it. Okay, so we have no more units that need movement. And the city is working on its settler. We're happy about that. We'll end of the turn. Gained enough experience to reach level 3. Cool. You've encountered a new minor faction, the boss. Centaurs. Big fat centaurs, apparently. They're a type of cavalry. Plus 5% food per pacified boss village. Okay. You've encountered the empire of Keeper of Eggs. Your presence is welcome. May you grow prosperous and fat. You don't look very friendly. Cold War. They're indifferent to us. Well, let's not worry about diplomacy quite yet. Following the tracks of the creatures that pillaged the treasure. Quest failed. You failed to complete the quest. Okay, we just got that quest and we've already failed it. Well, damn. Maybe somebody else already did it. If I had to guess, I'd say they probably killed it. Here's a boss city with a skull on it. It's been pacified and destroyed, but no one controls it. We have another unexplored ruin here. Oh, and there's one up there, too. Or wait, no, that's a village. Okay, intellectual jealousy. Summary, enlightenment is near as long as you continue to focus on research. Produce 40 science in one of your cities for 10 turns. 
Okay, produce 40 science in one of your cities. Research a total of 40 in the science column. Are you saying that I need to research 40 science per turn for 10 turns, or that I need to just research 40 science? I guess we'll find out. Maybe we should track that one. We'll find out, because we're doing a lot of science right now anyway. 28 per turn. Seems like a lot to me. I don't know. Four turns for our settler. Um, you're going to have to move just as close as you can to the hero. And we're going to go and parlay. Okay. The tribe leader needs your help. A pack of hostile monsters has been raiding and threatening their villages. They lack the military power to stop them. If you wipe out the, th the threat, the tribe will be more happy. Alright, cool. Show location. Oop, shoot. I did that wrong. Okay, I'm confused. Help your neighbors defeat the menace of the monsters. Find the monsters the tribe has identified in the lair. Ah, here we go. Well, damn. It's rather far away. Oh, hey, there we go. Now we have five vision. Alright, so you guys have merged together. That's good. We have no more movement. And we are now in the process of confirming whether or not we're actually spending... No, we're not spending influence. So we have 20 turns that this in, this plan will be in effect. 20 influence per turn for vision would have been nuts. But yes, we can see quite far now, which is good. Good for scouting, after all. Oh, there's another region there, some other color we haven't met yet. I like it. Oh, we've reached level 3, yes. Let's go and uh, check you out. You're fine. Every time they level up, they do cost more money. So that's one drawback to leveling up. Okay, so this is your equipment, your skill tree. We can now either... We could do this again. We could do agile movement again to get even more movement. Or we could do even more vision. It's interesting. I like the movement. I really like movement. I'm going to make this army move six turns. Six, six tiles per turn. Nice. Okay, uh, the boss. We've met them. We've failed to complete a quest. You have received a new quest. And we've received the new quest. Okay. So I'm thinking that um, we'll find out on this quest here. Next turn. Resource booster added. Or ended, sorry. The die, the booster, and its effects have ended. So we've just lost the 50% influence bonus and the 5 happiness. I don't think we really need it right now. We could reactivate. But we've got plenty of influence. We're not spending it on anything yet. And we're still happy, right? Yeah. So that's totally fine. Okay, you shall go and check out these temple ruins. This one's interesting. It, it um, it's got a little icon. Oh, is that the one that we're supposed to be going to? No. What's up with that then? Apparently, we can search it again. Interesting. You should travel that way. Okay, Geomic Labs and our Settler in one turn. I'm not sure we really want to go settle Am just to satisfy that mission. I feel like settling something closer would be more defensive and give us better ability to um, change our terror, like change our units if we need to upgrade them. Maybe I don't know. Working on Empire Mint now. 
A battle with a roaming army is about to begin. So our ranger, all on his own, is about to fight a dredge. Well, that's not so good. Uh, we have no hero. We want to um, manually fight it because this is our first fight. The dredge is a infantry unit with 64 health. A speed of 2. 2 out of 4. Got a circular attack and it's a chance at stunning. It's uh, level 1. Our ranger's level 1. Less health, but good range. Let's, uh, let's go do this. So this is the battle region. We're in the deployment phase. Here's our unit. The dredge. So in combat, they're only going to have two movement. We will have two movement as well. We can deploy anywhere that's got that light, faint blue outline. They can deploy anywhere in this region. It's not guaranteed that they're here. They could be anywhere in this region. This is a general approximation of where they're going to be. So with our four range, I think the clear decision is just to get as far away as possible. Um, actually, not quite that far. Let's see. Um, yeah, actually, look at that. So there's like a hill here. How about we go here? One, two, three, four. So if they come anywhere near us, we'll be able to shoot them for a few turns. It sounds good. And then uh, the stance that we want to use is hold position. Well, first we deploy. Now we're in the targeting phase. We want them to hold position here and just wait. Just let them come to us. Let's launch the turn. Battle resolution. Phase one. Six phases per combat cycle. Why did you not shoot? Oh, because we went first. We have higher initiative. Right. They have an initiative of zero. We went first. Yeah, we just we just wait. Um, they'll go one turn, two turns, and then is that hill here? I can't really tell. Three turns, four turns. I think we just stay right where we are. Now we'll auto attack. You can't like individually command them. We did four damage. That's it. Oh, never, never mind. Apparently they're going to attack right up the hill. <laughs> this is not so good. Uh, we want to... We're going to die. Our scout's going to die. We should just run. Why did we do so little damage to them? Because they've got such a high defense ability. Probably because of the forest. Um, I don't know. I think we're going to get our butts kicked. Damn. Why are we not able to move that way? We have initiative. Oh, we're stunned. Are we stunned? Forty percent chance to stun the target for two rounds. There appears to be a modifier on there. Or is that just telling him that it's our character? I'm not sure. I don't know. We're just gonna die. That's what's gonna happen here. It's fine. We're just trying to explore, you bastards. It's fine. I didn't want that unit anyway. It's a stupid unit. Wait till my main army gets up there. It's gonna kick your butt. Whole bunch of rangers, lots of arrows. My hero's gonna kill you. Now that six movement's feeling pretty good. Okay, we have a settler. So here's the question. Do we just move the settler over here and just settle a new region? I mean, there's so much food here. Seven bonus food here for the Black Earth. Of course, production's always good. I'm quite tempted to settle this region. That way we can kind of like move across, kind of have some in reserve. Glek is a big region anyway. I don't know, it seems, seems good to me. Well, um... On the other hand, look at all this food, too. 
exotic exotics. We could settle like right here. Yeah, let's just grab the settler. New army. Settler with your five four movement. Five vision. You should be safe to wander. I don't think anyone's gonna come attack you. Okay, three more turns. We'll have our Empire Mint. One more turn for the Geomic Labs. I don't think we need to make another Settler. So we're in a good spot. We did lose a unit, but you know, whatever. It happens. Got our Geomic Labs. Need two more to unlock. We should probably get the Shaman. It's a support character. Forest Rage. Got more health than our Archer. Search party improves. Search on ruins. Ooh, the mill foundry. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Easy decision. And we definitely want to get the geomic labs. As for why it would take infinite time... Oh, Burrow Streets, because we, we spent one population to uh, create the settler. Right, of course. Part of the drawback to doing that, evidently. Produce 40 science in one of your cities for 10 turns is not happening, so yes, we do need to actually have 40 science happening total. We could do that at the cost of production. Let's start doing that. Why not? It's a lot of influence, and we need science anyway. You're not going to attack my city, are you? I don't think they will. Be okay, right? Eleven more turns minimum for till winter. Please don't come attack my, my settler. I'd be very upset if you did. Alright, I want to um, colonize. Oh, look at that. Okay, interesting. When performed with a hero, this provides for experience. Whatever. We're just going to colonize this now. I think this is a good spot. Within a rock in a hard place. A weapon was lodged within a great mound of glass steel by a mad blacksmith. It is said that the weapon has interesting powers and it might be worth obtaining. In order to do this correctly, you must first be in control of the region. Colonize the region of Glecka. We've completed Glecka. Okay. New objective. Now that you, the region is secure, you must build a glass steel extractor on the deposit in order to get the weapon. Yeah, totally. That's that's what I'm going to do. Yep. So Gleka has no garrison. Um, our initial city started off with militia. I think we'll get militia, won't we? I can't build militia. That's not a... Yeah. What are these? Exclamation points. Units? We're not sure. Could be something. So we got 15 spices. The booster is... Happiness and 50% food production. Well, considering it lasts for 10 turns, and we've got 10 more turns until summer could end, this might be a really good time to get the food production. So, yes, we'll do that. Let's see if we can grow our two cities very quickly. This city has uh, the one worker. Only two turns to upgrade. And four more turns to get this thing back. We've done one turn at 40 science. You've got your movement. Let's go up here. That must be what those exclamations were. Last, less known or cited units. So we're going to search this. Find the monsters the tribe has identified. You have been trapped. Survive if possible, but more important, make sure the monsters are all killed. So we got 15 glass steel for finishing the mission, but now we have this reward. Okay. New attack. Battle with roaming army. So it's it's both of our, our two ranger level twos against two rumblers and a harmonite. Interesting. 92 life. Holy crap. Um, we'll obviously manually control this, and I'm pretty sure we should also have a hero to place, correct? Yes, we do. Good, good, good. At least we have our hero, 
And before we actually resolve this, though, I am going to take a break here. So thanks for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.